Welcome back to another edition of Audio Fiends. Today is a little Uzi day. We got the new album, Pink Tape. We got the first song, Flooded the Face. Uh, producers on there are Harold Harper and Don Cannon. Again? Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. So, you want to get out of your hate before we start? I don't have any hate to get out. You don't? No. Uh, well, yeah, first one, let's see what we're talking about. Pull up if you really would. 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 I also heard that there's a, I mean, you know, there's a Travis Scott feature coming up, Don Tolliver, and there's a BNEX production credit on there. On? Pink tape. BNEX means nothing to me. <laughs> I don't see BNEX and go, oh my God. <laughs> You're going to start looking out for BNEX. All right. Yeah. First of all, I fuck eight bitches a day. Yeah. How could you ever say no Uzi gay? Yeah. Fuck four of them raw, fuck four of them say. Think I'm splitting an eyes, but for you to debate. Don't want no pussy one all today. But I just tongue it. So is that quell the rumors? Is that enough to quell the rumors that he's zesty? By zesty, you mean homosexual? Yeah. He's queer. He's queer. He's queer. <laughs> so even if he's fucking bitches, maybe they put a dildo on his ass. I didn't say that. Well, uh, like has an alter ego that's a girl. Leslie? It's queer. Couldn't Leslie be a guy's name? Is it? I mean, that's what they say. I used to think that Logan was a girl's name. Logan? Yeah. But only because the nurse in our school was named Miss, her, her last name was Logan. So I was just associated that with being a woman. You got sobbed? No. I guess. <laughs> I, I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> I wouldn't call me being sobbed. <laughs> No nah, man, so I mean hey, he's saying that he's not gay. So I guess we'll take what's worth for it. So big when he did that part when he did that chorus, that shit got just wider. That was good. I liked it. It was pretty good. Here's my question though. Yeah. He said he's fucking eight bitches. Yes. Isn't he in a relationship? In a committed relationship? Yeah, that's why JT was beating his ass at the Grammys. It wasn't just Ice Spice. It's been an ongoing problem with him fucking all these hoes. Is he really beating his ass or? I heard that. I heard dude was on his knees, man. What is for it? No way. What is it? And beating his ass, she threw a phone in his face. Damn. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, that probably hurt. Did hit you that, hit that? that. Me? Yeah. My bitch wouldn't do that. She know better. Well, she did. Huh? A temporary lapse of insanity. Temporary lapse? Yeah. Uh, she gotta take me out to dinner. She has to take you out to dinner? She gotta take me out to dinner, yeah. It's got, like, she gonna be, have to be on her knees asking me for forgiveness. She just beamed you right here. Right in the cheekbone, right with the edge of the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cracked you in your orbital socket. <laughs> well, she gave me pay my medical fees. And then take me out to dinner. Okay. Feed me through a straw. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 
Making that face, man. <laughs> hey, man, yo, this is why I like Uzi, man. He makes high quality music. Um, you can tell that it's very meticulous on being seemingly high skilled. Very meticulous. Everything seemed like it fit well. And uh, is that like I, it's an interesting way to start off the album? Because that was a very weird beat. It was, it was almost like happy and sad at the same time. I don't know if you saw that. Because yeah, there was, was a lot of chord progression switching with the with the melody of the beat. It was really uh, spacey. Yeah. But energetic at the same time. Mm. So, yeah, it is kind of weird. There is something a little bit weird about it. But I feel like the spacey vibe is kind of a good. And by spacey, I don't mean like outer space. I just mean like it's very wide. Yeah, wide. It like even the eight oh eight seemed like it wasn't like hitting straight in the middle. It felt like it was wide too. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of echoey, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Um, and I think as a as an intro, it's you know it's pretty good. It's, it's a good calm introduction to the album. So it was calm but hype at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it still kept that energy that Uzi is kind of known for a while. You know. Yeah easing you into what he's gonna give you for ratings though I will give it I'll give it a six I think it just missed being added to my playlist but I'll give it a six I'll give it a uh, 6.5 I was gonna give it a 6.5 but I think if I gave it a 6.5 I'd have to add it but I'm not gonna add it you have to add a 6.5 well it's a new Uzi that's why I would add it yeah. Um, but I don't really think it was one of the best. I think the chorus is weak, and so is the second verse. But uh, the chorus is a little bit better. And the yeah. second verse was as good as the first verse. I could have added this. Yeah, I feel that. It was uh, it was pretty close to being a really, really good song. But, you know. I think the limitations, honestly, were the beat, even though the beat was interesting. It was a little weird. I like it. Yeah, fair enough. What do you think the limitations were? I told you. You didn't like the second verse in the chorus? No. What was wrong with the chorus? It's a little too repetitive. He didn't say that <laughs> whack ass shit twice. Did he say it twice? Uh, yeah. Each each time he did the Yeah, bars. he did say it twice. Well, you kind of have to because that's how beats are made, you know? Say bars. He didn't have to. Maybe Take he could have. You're right. He could have made like a. He just could have made different bars. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know, even you could have hummed or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> eh, maybe you felt it was good enough. Either way, let us know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Peace. Dang, man.